love living in a first world country with third world healthcare and third world infrastructure and third wait we're in a third world country that's right <laughs> huge fan huge fan okay we're back we're back we're good hi probably but I, I did straight up think though you were gonna have deer saddlebags with a name like right. Testa from Buck, yeah. Yep, I you know what if hollowed out deer? That's what I was I, waiting. I'm for. gonna be honest with you guys. Big I just bag. I just took that syllable and took I took the uck syllable and thought of all the socially acceptable other like phonemes I could add to it, <laughs> and I just grabbed one. The amount of thought that went into that was zero. I think I only picked the letter B because it was like the second letter in the alphabet, and this is the second Chesta that had been summoned, and so it just sort of went like snap and went in. And uck Chesta wouldn't work. Uck well, Chesta. Actually, uck Chesta, Chesta. If you ever. Come on. If you ever roll like a one or a two and summon a d just an awful, you're gonna get Uck Chesta. He's literally a caveman. He's literally a caveman. His his shop is like it's like bones. You know, it, it, this cave rises up. He's got it's these. It's just a hollowed out rock. It's just, it's a, just a hollowed out rock. rock with like bones tied together with sinew and just you know a like a a, a freaking. A rat that's been splayed out, you know, rat hide that's over there over a fire. That's Don't threaten me with a good time, mate. You think you're making this sound like bad, but it's it's, it's slightly above better. raw, is what it is. Exactly. It's exactly. Not even, can we, not can we, can we do an adventure? So we we can all agree though that Buck Testa is the black sheep of the of the Chesta family. God. What are we doing? Like, does the party actually need anything before you descend beneath the hewn estate i'm um, going to collect 10 things of holy water and a can of yellow paint then i'm good oh that's very specific and i would like to learn more at a later time <laughs> okay do you do you already have the price for holy water i do not I believe it's 25 gold each. I believe it's 25 gold each because people sell wow. it at cost. That's how much it costs wow. to create well, holy water. I am I will, kind of I will good with the temple, temple, but I yeah, will, the I small like that two. small temple will give you two for free. That's what that's what's in their budget, basically. Okay, I'll I'll get those two and I'll buy three more. So a total of five. Cool. I don't know what the yellow paint is for, but we're adventurers. Come on. I'm, I think it's interesting. It's not a bad idea just to have holy water just in case. And if you're thirsty, like, you know, glug glug. Well, the, the best thing you can do with holy water is you just have a can, an unmarked canteen of it. And whenever you meet somebody sketchy, you're like, hey, you're thirsty, yeah. have a drink. And if their face melts and their eyes catch on fire, then they were a demon in disguise. <laughs> or you just like take a little sip and like, spray it all over them. Yep. Start talking, just a little spit coming out. <laughs> just okay. Somebody Start tell a really running. funny joke while I'm drinking from the holy canteen, so I can do a spit take on him. <laughs> Here's a raspberry. Um, and at some point, I want to go shopping for some scrolls, but I feel like we need to get to a thing today. So <laughs> no, 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 dude. Wait, this so, isn't happening. <laughs> Sorceress Sundries does sell scrolls. If you shift double click on them, you'll be able to see their selection. Without having oh, to, can't. yeah, without having, again, this works for almost all the shops on the map, so please feel free to browse. Uh, sort of up to the right, inside the city, though, close to the, close to the front gate. It's been far too long, and Crozen has yet oh. to have yeeted someone. Mm -hmm. I know. And I haven't made any terrible quippy remarks about being the Chosen one. This is a terrible game. <laughs> The bar is really low. All right. So these only do sorcerer spells. Are there any clerical spells? Uh, I would check probably at like the High Hall of Wonders. Maybe they have stuff. If it's not listed, I'm definitely going to say that like one of the temples will have. Um, will will definitely have available scrolls and stuff. But oh, there's a shop called the Unrolling Scroll. Oh, that's the temple. That's that's the temple of Ogma. Yeah, I'm gonna rule that the temple of Ogma will 100% sell you uh, sc holy scrolls. Okay. Ogma is like didn't the. You... Sorry, go ahead. Ogma is the god of like um, you know, stuff. Uh, didn't learning you have and writing. A area of shops in here. You had like aside from like double like click double click on the map. You had like a a thing in the uh, in the party list that like you could mm -hmm. open up like. 
It's what under, area is that under? Uh, custom rules. Custom. Here we go. Rules. Custom rules. Merchants. Yeah, merchants. Ogma is the god of knowledge, the lord yeah. of knowledge. Yes. Um, and so do, 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 do. it's very on brand that he would have scrolls. Exactly. So. Exactly. And I'm going to call that a medium level, a medium level spell tombs and scrolls shop and a medium level religious idols and blessings shop. To to bring them up, hire them. No, uh, you can. Yeah, you can buy anything on these two. Mm -hmm. That's on the spell tomes or the religious idols uh, at medium or lower. OK, copy. Understood. <clears throat> so you got the prices right there. 250 for a third level scroll. The maximum that are available is going to be 1d4 times 3. A few other things like that. Okay, mate? Yes. Is there a good leather worker in Baldur's Gate? Because it says that they could have 1d4 bags of holding. Uh, why don't you go to the wide and do some searching? Roll. Uh, do, you have right. do you have investigate? Do you have investigate? Do I have it? Yes. Is it very good? Probably not. <laughs> Do you have another skill you could use to find like a, a good leather worker? Yeah, I've got a, I've got a hawk that can see through time and space. Is yeah, but he, he, he's not an economic hawk. <laughs> um, I can investigate with you. I, I can use a, I have good armor, but if we find even better armor, I'd love that. And I can wear a leather armor, so I'll come with you. I'll All right, with well, you. Roll an investigation check to find it. And I'll let... Uh, Okay, I, have, I can persuade. I can just be, you know, like try and find out like word of mouth in the street and all that. Yeah, roll persuasion. Persuasive. Roll persuasion. Why don't I roll that? No, actually, yeah, you, you go ahead. I have disadvantage from chat earlier. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 all right, cool. What is your persuasion score, dude? That's, Holy that's shit. Not Only a five. I rolled two 18s. Yeah, he got very, very lucky. All right, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say... Thank you, Luck Chesta. Umbarto, roll 1d20. R slash R. A nine. And uh, Darius, roll 1d20, but you get two rolls. Oh, okay. So an eight and a two. Okay. Nope. There's not a good quality leather worker today. There isn't a, a specific designated shop inside the town. You're just searching the wide. In the entire city of Baldur's Gate, the hub of mercantile convenience in the entire Western continent. There probably and there is. is no good quality leather worker. Okay. The but hub they, would they, actually be water. It's the 24th of Tarsac. The 24th of Tarsac is always a slump day, okay, dude? Come on, everyone knows that. What are you What are you even saying right now? Actually, you it's know, if Wednesday. you really want to find a good leather worker, you could go out to Southfoot. I was going to say, out by the, uh, about the butchers, the, mm -hmm. they all, the tanners will be out that way. Mm -hmm. Again, you got to remember, the, the whole city is still on lockdown. That's really impacting, you know, the flow of goods and services and uh, stuff like that. that Pretty much everything. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Well, you know, um, you know the evergreen. Yeah. Okay, that's what's happening. Right <laughs> uh -huh. The uh -huh. the um the river Kyonthar is just completely blocked up by a massive galleon that's been stuck there for days. Really unfortunate. Well, guys, that is unfortunate. Uh, hey, wait, you said massive galleon? <laughs> <laughs> I need one of those. Can I you go see find it? Free ship. Uh, if you're looking for a ship, if you want to go to the island quest, uh, there's a place called Coldgrave Shipping. You might, you might want to look I into. Like we go to the shield and not go to <laughs> you, hell you, by you, accident. You guys can fuck off to Chult if you give me like five bucks each to buy that adventure path. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, I, th I think once the rest of the companions are are done. Oh wait, Kevin, you were looking for a good leatherwork armor, right? Yeah, transferring twenty dollars right now. Yeah. Uh, if we found one, I was gonna buy some better armor, but we didn't, so we're fine. Let's move on. Uh, right. on that shield plus one, good quality or good level item. 
500 gold pieces, any available? Uh, if you want an enchanted shield, that wouldn't be, uh, even if I said it was on that list, that wouldn't be here, but you could probably get one from Blackgate. Blackgate is like the Dwarven Quarter, the Craftsman Quarter. They would be able to sell you something like that. So if you guys travel oh, yeah. out to Blackgate, you can I buy a plus one shield. Copy. So okay. I, I will allow that. All right, uh, half the day has been used up by important shopping runs. Matt, I'll give you, I'll give you one, I'll give you one more shot at this. I'll give you one more shot at this. I don't fucking want it. Okay, you're gonna <laughs> understand. We'll have a nice shield. day. All I want is the bag of holding. Which, by the way, I'm not against it. Give, give the cleric a plus one shield. However, mm. no, I don't want your no, pity. So, so here's That's my it. logic. Here's my logic. Right, I have more information, more information about actual smiths than i do about okay. actual leather workers if i had read okay. something in any of the things i have that was like this is a great leather worker matt it'd be a freebie because i'd be i could point out a name and just give it to you but anytime yeah, yeah. that there isn't like a name i can point out to you we could try another one of the testers or the chesters. Oh, I'm going to spam that at the end of the session. I'm going to sit Joe down for a half an hour and just keep <laughs> buying pies until I finally get a good leather worker. I'm going to meet the entire chest of line. No, I would not check your PayPal account right now at all. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I mean, the worst thing that's going to happen is that the people of El Terrell will continue to suffer as their city gets dragged lower and lower towards the waters of the River Styx while you guys fuck off to Chult. You know, mate, Chad has a really good idea. Couldn't I just strap a bunch of money onto Darius with a note to the butchers that say, give me a bag of holding, you can have all this money. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're just coming back with another another beaver bag. Like, <laughs> the good news is we found a bag of holding. The bad news is it's another beaver. Hey, I'd be totally okay with that. The endless beaver bag. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, why don't you you drop a note at Sorceress Sundry. So at the end of the, the game, we'll see if they have that in stock. All right, because they Sounds have like good. magic items in stock that rotate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. OK, so if, if it are possible, Kresen would like to let let the, the local shopkeepers know that he is interested in a, uh, a strength giving uh, magic mm -hmm. item, be it a bracer or a belt of frost giant strength. Oh wow! I'm just you know spitballing here. I, I, I program would be unstoppable with that. Okay, Matt. Um, make a or anybody who wants to make a persuasion check. Who has the highest persuasion in the party? Five plus six. Plus yeah. two. Yeah, six beats five. Yeah. Be, okay. Uh, roll the plus six, Matt. You roll as well. We're gonna take the better of the two. Ooh. <laughs> All right. So we have a ten. That was terrible. Yeah, Darius has a new uh, animal companion besides Chonky. It's just a beaver. It's just a beaver. <laughs> it's just a straight up beaver. Actually, it's just Chonky in one of the bags. Pretend Natural 20! Okay. What are rolling for again? <laughs> um, <laughs> to, to see what's available right now at Sorceress Sundries. So, uh... Mr. So that that would be Mr. Blackhand. How are so you doing? Today? That would allow you to roll on magic item table E, which I don't know if the the freaking uh, bag of holding is on that table. There are some good stuff on there. So do you want to do you want to take those rolls on table E, or do you just want to roll on the bag of holding table? No, nope, just roll on table E. Sounds like we found the the money load. Look, I'm gonna I'm just gonna send the bird to butcher's block with a with a bet with a note that says please, please, <laughs> and thank you. Okay. Um, Matt, roll 1d4. All righty. Four. Ooh, I hope that okay. was good. Let's do each of you in order get yeah. a roll, uh, starting with Crozan. Now, I don't know if any of this is going to be useful to you guys, because these are high-end items. They may be out of your price range, etc. cetera. Um, roll 1d4. No, roll 1d100, Crozan. And you're each going to do this. Why don't you each oh just God. go ahead and give me uh, d100 rolls? Hey, if one of them could be like, you know, magical bracer dagger, I would be just, a, I, I'll, I'll forgive you for all the shenanigans with the, uh, <laughs> with the bag of holding. All Ooh, right. seven. Lucky number seven. 23, a 30, a seven. And then Robert, Robert, if you can give me 1d100. Uh, top left. It's easy. All right. So Ooh, two level eight spell scrolls. 
Wow. Actually, three level eight spell scrolls and a level nine spell scroll. Oh my god. Jeez. <laughs> Uh, oh. Let me let me see what the value is on those things, just to see if this is even. No, I think a level nine is fifty thousand. I think a level eight is like oh. twenty thousand. It's it's yeah. A level nine. nine is a legendary item. Oh yeah. We would just kill this guy and leave the city. <laughs> at that point. Okay, yeah. Um, so no bag of holding How in stock. Is Umberto's ass worth? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Matt, if you don't yeah. take the White Hawk of Kionthar on this adventure, at the end of the adventure, there will be a bag of holding for sale for 500 gold. Because yeah, he, deal. Okay, the White Hawk of Kionthar is not on this adventure. Is everyone ready to descend into a ver to under the Hewn House? Yep. Yes. Yeah. Not that actually you almost dead. Instead of... All right. Falister Fisk. It's been a year. It's been, it's a, been a, year. a full year. Falister Fisk guides you into the spidery network of sewer tunnels that lie beneath the city. The main tunnels are crudely hewn from the granite and are five feet to ten feet wide with an arched roof. Down, down, through the sewer tunnels you go. After an hour of careful travel, the party finds himself deep below the city in a dry and dusty tunnel that looks like it was abandoned before completion. Several natural caves branch off from the main tunnel, and Falister leads you down one of these, which terminates at a wall of loosely packed gravel. He points out a large, flat-faced rock, which is engraved with a leering, fiendish face. He passes out shovels and asks the party to help him dig. Everybody roll athletics checks. Uh, wait, before we do that, should we have our stone cunning dude just make sure that like this isn't going to collapse I, on our asses? But it will lick the walls. <laughs> okay, roll a history check with advantage. History. I do not roll well on those, by the way, guys. You got two eights. You literally got two eights. Hmm. Tastes like rock. Cool. This is great. Hey guys, rock, guys, guys. guys, it sounds like there's rock everywhere. I like how you licked it and then said it sounds like there's rock everywhere. <laughs> I have so, history. Can I make a roll? Uh, yes, but this was specific to his his uh, stone cutting. Go ahead and get, do give. Feel free to give me a roll, though. A He's fourteen. Like, Mate, can I persuade the rock to uh, reveal <laughs> it's it? It's been carried, dude. I don't know what you're talking about. Roll, okay. Uh, see, this probably dates back a couple hundred years. You'd say. Okay. Um, I believe. Yeah, I believe so. So, roll a persuasion check, Darius. What? Oh, I was kidding. But yeah, let's let's do it. <laughs> I'm here for it. 16. Um, the rock winks at you seductively. Oh, my. Can I hit it with the whip? Can I hit it, I hit it with the whip? <laughs> what? what? Roll, roll an attack with the whip. No, keep going. Let's get into the. Oh, my God. I got you. It's funny. The leering devil face is now making a completely different face, which I will not describe on the broadcast. But it hopes it that after, to Uwu? after the Uwu? dungeon, it hopes that you will call. God, what are we doing with our lives? Oh my gosh. <laughs> 350 gold penalty. I, I have kids. I, I don't know if I could face them now after this episode. <laughs> My wife is going, hey, what did you guys do? I heard a lot of laughing. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it, okay? Just, they never, need, nothing I happened. I need a shower today. after the stream, seriously. All right. All right. Um, Everybody roll some friggin' athletics checks to dig up uh, the... That whip attack, yeah. Athletic. Dude, I destroyed that, that, that evil-looking thing. Hey, can that be my acrobatics check or athletics check? <laughs> <laughs> just whipping into All right. It. So as you as as Darius just whips the crap out of this rock, Robert takes a shovel and plows right through. Holy fuck. Is is the whip the new ten foot pole? Is that what this is? <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Guys, I destroyed that grimacing smile thing. <laughs> Look at that. Wait, is it really called Lover's Lashes or did you? It's literally it called that? Lover's Lashes. Oh, but I have AKA God. Dr. Gray's Whip because you guys wanted to be Dr. Gray's Whip. <laughs> yeah. Okay, light sources. Talk oh. to me. I have dark vision. Mm -hmm. So fuck you. There's a meme there. Um, yep. I have goggles of dark vision. I think I. I, mean, oh, do. Do I, have, I have flying boots. I forgot about that. Holy shit, yeah, you can fly. Why do, why do we not remember that? Good fucking question, dude. <laughs> Alright, I'll... Uh, does I your, does your holy mace give off light on command, Robert? Uh, I do oh not I mean, have the full description of the weapon listed here, so I don't know. It was inside the statue, and the statue was emanating light. I imagine. Um, Raya healed up, yeah. right? Yes, Raya's fully healed. Slobber Chops is also fully healed. Oh, I forgot Slobber Chops. Hey guys, I'd like to pose to chat. Can can somebody in chat figure out what sound a whip makes? I looked it online. It says crack is usually what's used. Yeah, I, I don't yeah. like the idea of crack. I want like a quitch. So if someone could figure out what is as a sound effect to be written out. You mean an onomatopoeia, like a... Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, okay. mm -hmm. I, would, I would appreciate that. Kerchaw is a pretty good one. But that's not that, bad. That's very... That's close cool. to Kerchaw, though, which I'm not a huge fan of. Yeah, that's, that's very Carzy. y you, you could do crack, because whips, like, they make a crack. Yeah, yeah, but I'm thinking about whoosh. I don't want I don't want just crack. I, I think crack is like because yeah, yeah. you're gonna see crack and you're gonna go, what's wrong with your whip, man? <laughs> it's breaking. It is a sexy whip, so there Ooh. are cracks. There oh, are, there are no, 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 we're not gonna go into that, guys. Guys, guys. Um, what's my uh, my fiendish figure? I can. I'm gonna just assume that I'm gonna have that running. Is there any reason not to just have that running right now? No, there isn't. As you enter a spacious natural cavern, Ooh. perhaps 100 feet in diameter, with thick stalagmites and columns everywhere, a granite portico extends out from the far wall, housing a pair of dark wooden doors. Basically, big cavern, temple entrance on the far side. What do you do? Um, I am not seeing this temple entrance. This is just super dark. It, um, let's see. Can you see anything? You should be yeah, able to see I something. Think... Okay, Come so on. I didn't make this map 20 squares down to the south, although it's ostensibly possible that I could. Do I just want to do that? Height 45. Bam. Oh, that's Lighting is all kinds of borked for me. Oh, so yeah, it's gray now. It's just gray with a little bit of green. And I've got gonna, visual I'm refresh. Green. No, it's oh, doing yeah, the same. Right. It's doing the same thing for me. Yeah. Stand by. Oh. You're that so close to eating stuff. stuff. So that very close. In my memory forever. I probably just have to turn off explorer mode. And let me re-add everybody to the map. Stand by. Explorer mode is one of the features that has not really been working. All right, dynamic lighting. Yeah, apparently expanding the map completely just borked it to hell. <laughs> cool. Oh my gosh, letting with cheeseburger slide for the whip just goes mm, harder. <laughs> yep. Yep, that's um So that there was a lot of them that I thought I was gonna use because I liked a lot of these, but now I think I have to go. <laughs> I and then it, it slips to that daddy every once in a while. Oh, oh gosh. Okay. Oops, I was going to be somewhat we serious go. with it, but no, not anymore. Oh, my God. We see uh, I have sight on things I probably shouldn't have sight on. Let's see about that. But I'm not, I'm not going to comment on it. Oh, thanks. I am going to roll, however, a perception check to see what else. Do I do I, anything dangerous? Negative Ghost Rider. I'm going to say it right now. Negative Ghost Rider. <laughs> yeah, everything seems completely fine. And uh, nothing was broken on your side. I just uh, made a slight oopsie whoopsie. Um, did you guys want me to go ahead and kind of scout out a little bit? Yeah, why don't you do that? I'm uh, I'm loading in and I'm having trouble loading in on uh, World 20. I'm actually just going to go ahead and kill it and restart it. 
Yep. So I'm assuming um, that everywhere around Robert is the light source, right? Yes. And then is it dim light beyond that? Yes. Okay, so my plan is to go into the darkness, which I'm assuming is like right around here. Is, it, is, this, is this like a big open cavern area? What, what are we looking at here? Yep, it's a big open cavern area. And this is like a bridge? What is this? That is the temple entrance. Temple what did entrance. the red mean? The red, the red is dark. your dark vision, my friend. That's new. I just changed cool. that. Yeah. Well, it's Dude, the what's the brown mean? Yeah, the, the brown is unfortunately what it looks like when Matt's green night vision and Crozan's red night vision overlap. <laughs> and I'm not feeling it. So you're going to have red night vision now, Matt. There. I'm fine with that. Oh, my God. Okay. Just, I can't, just, I can't. It's all... It's all you guys, don't I can't look into the eye of the aisle. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> this is what the inside of the beaver no. bag looks so... like. It's still like... We we get on track and then we promptly derail. Three I... steps forward, two steps back. Okay, oh, so oh, I'm, I'm, I'm stepping into the shadows and I'm going to try to stealth my way and keep an eye out for things. All right. It's amazing. It's amazing we have oh. any viewers at all. <laughs> oh, <there we laughs> oh, all right. Stealth mode. All right. I'm making my way downtown, mate. Walking fast. Walking fast. Well, no, I'm I'm stealthing, so I'm walking at half speed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, have to, you have to sing it. Making my way downtown, walking at half speed. Look at this. What are these things that I passed by here? Are those columns? Pillars. Let me describe. Let me describe this to you. Yes, please describe. All right. Slobbery. Slobbery is my my companion. Yes. So go ahead and heal slobber chops up to full. All right. I don't have access. You should. How I'll many fix. fake hit points do I get with my magic sheet? Uh, look up the ability. I can't be asked. Yeah, Crozan, oh, you, sh you should have access to the little health bar. All right. Uh, the tall double doors are made of carved ebony, and each has a skull-shaped silver knocker. Each door also... Shut the... F <laughs> shut the... F it's up one plus right your warlock level. You should write that down somewhere, Kevin. Um, uh, yeah, no, okay. <laughs> So you have six. The left hand has a message written on it that says Temple of the Hidden Lord. The right hand door says, please knock before entering. Uh, Temple of the Hidden Lord, please knock before opening. Before entering. Before entering. Hmm. There's, the rest of the it... There's the rest of the cavern as well. Go ahead. I'm going to come back to the group and share that, hey, this thing wants us to knock before entering the Temple of the Hidden Lord. I don't know if we should do that. Does Slobber Chops smell anything? Oh my god, yes. Slobber Chops points at the temple entrance and hisses. Slobber Chops can detect invisible creatures. What? Yeah. Oh my. Anything within 60 feet cannot be defeated or cannot be invisible and Slobber Chops sees something. I do a series oh. of like hand motions and then like slobber chops goes and like tries and, and I don't yeah he he he, he goes okay no, wait, wait, wait 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 I didn't see anything so not that I don't trust slobber chops but we're gonna just go for this this is cool with you well, it's one of the imps dude should we be following slobber chops to to follow up on this I don't want your cat to get murked by oh, whatever. Yeah, yeah. I'm willing to follow Slobber Chops. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Slobber Chops does not want to go alone. Okay, I'm going to go with Slobber Chops. Slobber Chops, will, Slobber Chops hates imps and will tussle with imps. Slobber Chops does not want to go alone. Slobber Chops is like hissing, back arched, hair up behind you. Oh, okay. Wow. Right. Then, can I have Slobber Chops then rest on my shoulder? So that way Slobber Chops is not like directly in line of getting hurt and it can just direct me to where the invisible creatures are. I can fly right behind you, right? And yeah, use your body. Slobber Chops can fly. Um, sure. What are the rest of you guys doing? Uh, I will join the Slobber Chopsy group and follow along, but I can't see any of this, so someone with light needs to come with me. Wait, you don't Robert. have dark vision? Or, or unholy? Whatever his vision? Uh, no. I he doesn't have, have Devil's Own Sight as an ability. There Do you, you have go. light as a cantrip? 
maybe those who need light and want light should stay a little farther back so they don't reveal those of us who are in shadow approaching the invisible creatures and then you can just nuke them from orbit once we start uh, yeah. so this is uh the crypt for the hewn family the shield was being held i assume the hewns are good people or at least assumed to be good people right um they're, they're, in they're patriarchs they're, they're okay, okay. They're yeah Alders they the, the shield of the fallen lord is a good artifact that holds an evil creature. The bad guys were trying to get a hold of it to release bad upon the world. Ergo, the Hunes who are guarding it theoretically should be good or at least not bad people. But this place that, is not the temple of the of the beautiful shield. That this is the temple of the hidden lord. So I think this temple is built by bad people. Was this temple built by bad people or good people? You do not have information about the temple. It's currently called Temple of the, the Hidden Lord. The door knockers are silver skulls. Not good. Yeah, I mean, um, bad guys yeah. don't have a monopoly on skulls. Are we not the true. baddies? We're the bad guys. Can we ask have- uh, Pants? Fargle Pants? What's his face? For infos? Mr. Um, Falster Fisk. Oh, Falster okay. Fisk. <clears throat> Uh, well, I don't have any information about the Hunes in any particular fiendish associations. I wouldn't say that this looks like a, a wholesome place so far, but we'll probably learn more if we actually go inside. Copy. Okay. Uh, can we investigate the edges over here, over here, see if there's a, you know, back door? Yes, absolutely. Uh, go ahead and do me a favor, and it will take you 10 minutes to search the cavern. Is that okay? I'm okay with that. Then everybody roll a perception check. <laughs> 12. Natural yeah. 1. 21. Yeah. Went from a 9 to a or 19 to a 1. That's always fun. Uh, so Slobberchops has, has advantage on perception checks on smell. Okay. That will not help in this particular case. Um, it would help you find hidden creatures, such as the invisible creatures guarding the entrance to the temple, but it does not help you uh, find whatever it is that is out in this cavern. Also, Falister Fisk has just joined the party. Yay. Yay. All right. Highest roll went to Robert. Robert, you found an old corpse wearing rough woolen robes and a shield-shaped copper pendant. Ooh. Can we identify this as a religious... Uh, article of religious significance. You may make a religion check. You are not familiar. It's a very plain icon. Uh, okay, all right, a 21. <laughs> Wait for the clerk. If it's history checks, then Robert's going to do it. If it's an attack roll, the gods will decide. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, I will. Oh, God damn. What did you get? A 21? Uh huh. Yeah, okay. Uh, all right. Yeah. Uh, I will also take as supplementary before I give the answer to this history checks. If anybody wishes to make a history roll. Uh, <laughs> anybody else? I mean, I'll make it just because I'm a patriarch of mm-hmm. Baldur's Gate. I'm not good at it, though. Yeah, go ahead. All right. So. This shield is the symbol. Of a secret. Cult. Dedicated to Gargoth, the Hidden Lord. Oh, the bad thing. Yes, they, yeah. uh, they ha- you know they have a cover identity as some sort of other organization, but with a 21, you know that their true purpose is actually to serve the Hidden Lord and attempt to free him. Okay. Um... Well, if we're doing this the normal way, we would have Darius get these clothes, start dressing, and um, oh be yeah, very way. Disguise, right? Normal way. The woolen robes are somewhat rotted, but the shield uh, pendant is still fully functional. But the robes would they look kind of like my robes of the cultists of Markoth? Yeah, you, way? yeah, you could pull it off. Cool. I I'm gonna during this time, I'm gonna mm-hmm. change into my robes and put on the pendant. Okay. 
Darius is gonna um, and there was no change other into a bam. Go again. There was no other entrance or anything else in this room that we found. Correct. Is there anything that any any of us can do to see what those invisible creatures are that are guarding the gate? Can any of you see invisible creatures? Nope. Flubber chaps can. Uh, I would allow a handle animal roll. Ooh. To provide okay. additional insight. Animal handling. Mm -hmm. Rolling. That was almost 20. No. <laughs> you, you have no idea. Anything Ray I can do? I don't think Rhea has any special abilities that allow her to see invisible creatures, so no. All right, then uh, I feel like if we knock, we're going to get ganked. Is there anything any of us would know about, like a password or something, you know, and then well, what was the name of the, the god? The Gargoth. Gargoth. Melon. Melon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so here's my theory, guys. Why don't we walk up to the door? I will knock and use persuasion to, also say, have a whip. to say in the name of Gargoth, open. Ooh, that's a good one. And then we will hopefully be able to go in without getting attacked by these things. Unless we just want to fight them, but I have a feeling they're going to be kind of nasty and they might set up the alarm. Do you speak Infernal? I, you know, you're actually pretty, pretty, um... Just because it's, it's like, it's an it's a infernal, uh... I speak abyssal, I don't creature. speak infernal, no. I Hit beans are infernal, not abyssal, right? Okay, so why don't you do it then? And you're wearing the robes anyway, so why don't you do it? It's still um, more like Cthulhu stuff, right? Abyssal's demons, infernal's yeah. devils. Yes. Uh, Cthulhu stuff would be deep speech. Yeah. I see. Um, question, there were no notes or anything on that thing that Robert found, right? The corpse? Correct. You found a holy symbol of the Knights of the Shield, and that's it. The holy symbol is worth 15 gold. Holy symbol of the yeah, stop Knights it. of the Shield. Uh, and, no, it was a, and, it was, and it was a shield. Yeah. This is what's, what the symbol coffee. is. Mm -hmm. I need more alcohol. <laughs> that's my problem. And make one more time. The uh, on the column, what was the phrase that talked about knocking? Please knock before entering. That's all it said. The left hand said. The left hand says Temple of the Hidden Lord. The right hand says, "Please knock before entering." I'm feeling we shouldn't knock unless we know the password or whatever. Well, here's the thing. I can either knock. I can either try and and just and and. and cheat my way through this and just pretend to be a cultist and see if that'll do it. Um, but I feel like the best that's going to happen, though, because I don't want to go in there alone. The best that's going to happen is we get a surprise on them, which we might already surprise them anyway. So I kind of feel like we should just gank them, right? My, my, so I, I like that. Um, my worry would be that opening the door will set off the alarm and that there might be some kind of, you know, curse or, or spell or something that will go off if we trigger these guys. Is it possible um, to investigate the door? Now, Absolutely. Yeah. Another, another thought could be that they actually mean to use the spell knock just as a note. Does any of us have that? I don't believe we do. I don't think we do. But it's not an option. All right, let's kill them then. We have a big black wand that we can start wiggling at it. All right. So, so how about this? Um, why don't Robert and and uh, Umberto, you guys stay with those who need light vision, just out of the range with your light so it doesn't reveal me. I'm going to move up. I'm going to investigate the door with Slobber Chops and Crozan. And I will try to open this thing. We'll keep our eyes out, knowing where these things are. And if they try to gank us, then we'll all just, you know, we'll take it. Fight mode and kill the thing. Yeah. So I'm thinking maybe Slobber Chops and Crozen, you guys can hide like at the edge of the opening here. If if light is a thing, then they can see us, right? They, I mean, they should be able to, yeah. Mm -hmm. So they know we're here already. Uh, it's just a matter of 
And we've, we've been hanging out in the cavern for 10 minutes looking around. So, right, yeah. They haven't anything. So that that's is why a thing. I I think also, that's if there's been a dead thing here, and I just took its clothes and took its pendant and walked up and, you know, said, hey, why didn't you guys clean up that dead thing that's been over there for who knows how long? Um, it probably well, didn't work. Well, Joe's that's what, smiling I, in a very I, suspicious manner. I have a feeling they're not alive. I'm yeah, it's just they funny. Are, like, constructs or, like, something that's going to activate when we turn on the, when we open the door. You know? Otherwise, they would have killed us already. You know? Well, if they're sentries, they're going to wait till we walk up to the door and then they can kill us. They're not going to come out here and find us. Um, yeah, you know what? Darius is, a, is not the brightest tool in the shed, but he's now realized you don't use a saw when you're trying to open a door. And uh, he says, you know, guys, this plan is getting worse every moment. Um, <laughs> Slobber Shops knows there's invisible creatures there. Let's just go get them. All right, let's do it. I'm, I'm game. Okay. Uh, would Literally you like speaking. a bottle of yellow paint to douse on them? Hey, do you want me to sneak oh, up there with the paint? Yes. Would you like me to sneak up there with the paint? Guys, why not? That sounds yeah. like an incredible idea. I mean, you don't even have to douse it, you just like like flick it at them, right? I and mean, you just get enough on there to see. Yep. Yep. Them, like, you know, oh. God, fucking Nick's playing 6D chess over here, and we're like <laughs> barely managing checkers. Like, just oh barely. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's do it. All right, so you give the paint to Darius? Yep. All right, Darius, All right. you have the paint. What do you do? I'm going to follow Slobber Chops and sneak my way up and, and paint the back of the face. Okay, roll a stealth check. Have life consequences. <laughs> All right, you sneak your way up and... Uh, Slobber Chops indicates that there is a creature here. Okay, I can't use red right now. I'm going to need to hold on. <laughs> hold on. Okay, there's a creature here and there's a creature here. Uh, real talk. When you roll 29, that's like close to godhood level of skill, correct? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. The Just odds of anything good. detecting him is minimal. Okay. All right, I'm going to move up behind where one was indicated. Or actually, just just next to it. Like I want to make sure that I can like kind of stand, like if I was near your rib cage, and I'm just like, just gently like making sure that I can. Okay, yeah, this is you. All right, cool. Okay, you guys. It's the paint splatters on the sides of a just absolutely enormous invisible dog. Oh, yeah, that's never a is good just. Dog Moving or is it perfectly still? Like, it's kind of moving it... a little bit, but like it's alive, wavering, it's... flickering supernaturally. Ooh. Ooh. Blink dog. Blink dog. And then can I do the same thing to the other dog? Mm hmm. I will. All right. You, you blorp you both of the dog. dogs. As you sprinkle the paint on it, they sniff Darius. They look directly at you. Slobber Chops stares at them with just like, no wonder Slobber Chops was pissed off. It's, it's dog, right? It's dog. They look, and you can't see like too much of them because they are invisible. So you just see like the paint move <laughs> and it looks at you and then it just goes right back to looking out the door. Oh. So they're going to be activated when we open that door. No, sorry. They're looking out into the cavern. They're not looking at the door. Yeah, yeah. But if we were to knock on the door, I'm sure they would just attack us. Okay, so here's the plan now. I'm going to slowly sneak away. Mm -hmm. I'm going to motion over to Crows and Slobber Chops to follow me. And staying out of the light, I'm going to move on back to our group. Like, okay, guys, here's the plan. I need you all to break up into two teams. Hide on either side of this wall i'm going to go up and knock on the door and i'm going to see if dressed it's cultist if they're going to notice if all goes to hell you guys need to jump in there and kill these dogs okay yeah, i like this i like Sounds this good. do all i right. need to stay back so the light source doesn't move oh the I light think... source is behind this hard corner over here um, i think gonna... as as long as you don't Tech? Well, no, I think you're fine, actually. Yeah, no, because if they see it, they already looked at me. They looked at me and then looked away, so they obviously could see in the dark. Okay. 
So they know so, I'm there. I think I think you're fine. They never would have but, noticed you if you hadn't put paint on them, by the way. Good to know. <laughs> yeah, you you got a 20 ridiculous on your stealth check. The, the, you would have been fine. But they have they have a keen sense of smell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, go ahead and put Rhea somewhere, and Falister oh, will just chill yeah, with, with Crozan for the time being. Are you, are you doing a dance over there, Rhea? Okay, and uh, kind of just looking back over his shoulder at these invisible painted dogs, and she takes one more glance to see if there's any other messages that he missed on these columns, which I'm assuming he did not miss any other column messages. Nope. The left hand door says Temple of the Hidden Lord. The right hand door says please knock before entering. There's two skull shaped silver knockers. <laughs> what would you like uh, in, to do? In Infernal, Darius is going to say. Are you going to knock in Infernal? By, yes, I'm also going to knock in Infernal. Uh, by. The will of Gargoth, the hidden lord, I seek entry into his hidden temple. And then knock, knock. All right. The moment you touch the knocker, it explodes. Nice. A cloud cool. of silvery energy spores just bzzz, roll at constitution saving throw. I will well, do this thing that you said. The dogs are out uh, of range. Oh, goody. Of course they are. That's why they are where they are. Oh, you failed. You failed. You take eight points of lightning damage. Ouchie. But none of this is good. Um, mate, is this is this an attack? It's a trap. It's an area of effect. What are you trying to do? Uncanny dodge. Uncanny dodge. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you could uncanny dodge. Yeah, I will uncanny dodge. Now, is that only from attacks, or does it work on spells it, and saves it and stuff? Says it, it says it's, it says it's an attack. Whatever it's, it's not an attack. attack. Then it's not an attack. Okay, well then, no. Yeah. I think this is more evasion territory. Yeah. No, I, and I don't have evasion yet. All right, so chew on eight points of lightning damage, and nothing else Ouch. happens. Ouchie. Okay. Can you open the door? You just got juiced in your ass, Kevin. I am going to. That was when I touched it with my like hand, right? Yes. Okay. I am going to take out one of the hollowed out beaver bags, and I'm going to slip it around one of the knockers, and then I'm okay. going to pull. Okay. Like oven mitts. I see what you're doing here. It's <laughs> like is, you're grabbing the is, bag. You're not grabbing the knocker, right? You're like exactly, pulling. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. I'm okay. Also, I'm also taking out. Hold on. Hold on. I'm not done yet. I'm also taking out a shield and I'm putting it in front of me to kind of help give me some cover from this. And what kind of shield? What's the shield made just, of? Just a wooden shield. OK, good. Um, yeah, shield. yeah. So you pull and you can tell the door isn't locked, uh, but it, it doesn't swing outwards. It swings inwards. Oh, great. Then I shield check it with my beaver bag shield. Combo. OK. The door opens. <laughs> Do the shadow dogs attack? The shadow dogs don't do anything. I'm like really worried about these dogs. Because they're shadow dogs. The 15 foot high stone ceiling is arched and supported by a double row of columns. Several frescoes are painted on the walls in muted colors. There is a short sword on the floor. Uh, where on the floor? Uh, you know, I didn't mark it, but I'm going to say it's like, give me a sec. Thank you. I'm going to say it's like right here. Also, okay. this room, what's your what's your passive perception? Not high. It's like a 10. OK, great. Cool. Good to know. <laughs> I'm glad we had this talk. Uh, um, the eastern side, you have goggles of dark vision, right? I do. Yeah. Webs, lots of webs, lots of webs, lots of webs, just tons of webs, just thick webbing. Just webs everywhere. Just webs everywhere. OK. Alchemist fire. These are, you said, columns, right? Like climbable columns? Yeah, they don't. They just go up to like a, you know, a portico, but yes. Okay, so I know we're not in combat yet, but as a, as a, as a rogue, I can move past these dogs in a way that isn't going to get me attacked if they decide to attack me, right? Yeah, you, you could choose to use your bonus action to uh, disengage. 
just making sure that because like, i know when you're out of combat mm-hmm. technically there's like things you can and can't do so yeah i'm gonna mm-hmm. sneak by these dogs and i'm gonna update my companions as to what's going on all right and gonna heal uh if it can be spared i'm happy with that if not yeah yeah i'll give you a one dice so i'm gonna ask hey guys do we want to do anything about these invisible dogs before we go in there because i feel kind of weird not doing something about them also there's a bunch of spider webs in there like just so many spider webs so there's probably spiders in there also don't touch the door with your bare hands like big spiders that's the thing i'm just worried about the dogs like if we go in there and we start fighting spiders oh no uh, are we gonna end up having dogs round up our beaver holes you know uh it may be prudent to take out this these these shadow doggies right now now the yeah. only other thing i'm worried about is just like kevin was saying since these are big shadow hounds there's a possibility they are an alarm system and as soon as we fight them if we don't drop them in one round they're gonna probably howl and let everything in there know that we're coming which i mean it's a dungeon you know that happens but um just kind of wanted to get your guys's take on it we would have to sneak past them i think all of the all of us would have to sneak past them so here's something weird we could try if it's this thing and i point the little charm that lets us get by we could just move by and then throw the charm to the next person and they go by and then throw the charm to the next person and just keep cycling through until we get everyone through i mean I- we could try that, and then we're still back at, if it doesn't work, we're still back at, like... Kill them. Yeah, killing them. So let's try that. I, I would say that's yeah, the... Yeah, I, I agree. I think um, that's the smart thing. I like it. What do you got, Can Nick? we um, bar the doors from the other side? Like, say we get in, the I doors don't want to be snuck sw- up upon. The, the doors, doors swing in. So in. Yeah, so if you have something to bar it, you could bar it. Okay. That's an incredible idea. Yeah, okay, so let's try and get everyone by using that, that little charm tactic. Okay. And then we'll go from there and try and block the door. Okay. All right. So I, I go back through again. I sneak my way by. All right. Um, how about we have the heavily armored cleric go first? That's an incredible idea. I pass the <laughs> symbol to the cleric. All right. You now have the holy symbol of the Knights of the Shield. Robert. And this way it's not sneaking. We know it's not like you snuck by somehow. This would be a cleric is not sneak. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I definitely will not touch the door. I'll, I, can I borrow your wooden shield for a second? Yeah, the door's absolutely. already sw- the door's wide open. Oh. He left the door okay. open. It's not like they're hinged. It's not like you know. They've got hydraulics. Auto <laughs> closing doors. Mm-hmm. I guess I'll give you the wooden shield though if you want. I'm fine with that. No, no, it's okay. I'm good. Okay, I walk in. I mean, what's there to do? Okay, move yourself on the map, Kitty. Ah. Oop. Okay, good news. You walk right past the invisible dogs. They don't attack you. Bad news. As you enter the nave area, you must roll a dexterity saving throw. Excuse yeah. me? It's full of webs. If you want to actually go through the door, you have to enter the webs. Now, you would see this before you entered, Robert, so I'll give you that choice. But you have to step through the door uh, to get through the door. And the only way right. to do that is with webs. So do you want to do that? Mm. Can you burn the webs? Of course, you can burn the webs. That remember the whole alarm thing, though. If we what, do that, maybe all right. can we get everyone through and have them staged behind the dogs, and then we can move into the room. You can certainly they try. Will, they will pass the dogs with the holy symbol, but then we'll ha- hand it over to someone else, so they'll be within range of the dogs without the holy symbol. So that'll uh, be a true test. I'd Go almost ahead. burn the webs first, then. Okay. That would be smart. Burn, so, burn the webs. I'm just worried you're going to yeah. be alone against however many spiders are well, in there. I would have you the chosen handle. one walk up, burn the webs, walk back, all while holding the thing. That's true. So, now, do you I want him to use a spell slot? To, do you want him to use a spell slot to burn the webs, or do you have something smaller? Yeah, I sacred have flame. Fire. You have sacred flame, don't you? Is sacred flame radiant damage or fire damage? It's radiant damage. Right. Won't work. Right. Does anybody have a torch? I have. Three alchemist fires. Those things are expensive. I have, I have a torch. I have torch. I have torch. Explorers packs have a torch in them. Mm-hmm. So yes, I think yeah, I good. definitely have a torch. Can we just sure. a torch past the the dogs into the open door? Kurozen takes out the torch, lights it, and throws it to to Robert. 
I've, I've walked out at this yeah, point. Yeah, he walked I, back I, out. Dill throws the damn torch to Robert. Roll an athletics check. <laughs> Light me on fire. Wouldn't be the first time. A good Aye. yeet. A good yeet. Robert. Oh. <laughs> I was going to have you roll a dexterity saving throw to catch it instead of an athletics check. Uh, both are bad, so... Uh... <laughs> Alright, the, the torch falls on the ground, but torches don't just go out immediately. They're covered, soaked with oil and stuff, so there's just a torch on the floor now. That's all. Grows okay. with decisive action. I will go pick it up and torch the webs. Okay. You walk forward and you set the webs on fire. She love. She love. Where are you? Mate, quick question yeah. while this is happening. Mm -hmm. Can I roll a history check to see if invisible dogs have anything to do with hell? Like, especially pit fiends and anything that's doing with this cult? It'd be a religion hazard, check. Be a religion check. Invisible is probably yeah, not good. 18. Oh, no. Nice. Okay. Uh, specifically, usually, I mean, not really not like maybe like, this doesn't seem on the, on the level like this yeah it's not right? like a hellhound you know a hellhound yeah, would be very exactly. on brand this is like uh some faiths devoted to deities of gloom and night such as Shar, will perform unholy rites to summon shadow mastiffs from the shadow fell and then put them to work as temple sentinels bodyguards and punishers of non-believers uh but this is this method is known to other strong-willed and evil-minded individuals minded individuals so it's not the sort of lore that would be it's not like specifically in a devil worshippers wheelhouse but it is the sort of lore they could pick up yeah yeah, yeah. okay fire it's not exactly good mm -hmm. roll but it's one... possible that this temple might have been rededicated after the fact possible all right fire bad yeah fire bird all right robert uh you started the fire is there anything else you want to do? It was always burning. Take a five foot step back. Okay. Okay. And uh, I guess I'll just step all the way out because, right? I mean. Yeah, you can just you can just keep walking. All, That's fine. All let it ready. burn. Let it burn. Let it burn. Yeah. Oh, Kevin! Before things get going, were you going to heal me one point of a uh, of thing? I thought I already did. Did I not roll one? Did you roll oh, it? Yeah. I, um, Work, work 10 by and I said goodbye. There you go. Yay, four hit points. Thank you. I'll mark down that healing light. Yeah, we're good. And you false um, life yourself, right? You yes, I am false life. Cool. False lived. False lived. -ed. And I assume we're waiting for it to burn out of the way so we can walk into there. Yeah, what's, the, what's the highest passive perception in the party? 12. Probably... Robert, I think it's a yeah. 13 or a 15, 16. Oh, uh, actually, where's that written? Slobber Chops has 16. Left. Nice Slobber Chops. Bottom left? Uh, is that, so if you look at your skill, character sheet, it's on the left-hand side of your character sheet. Oh, there it is, 13. 13, yeah. Okay, 13. Mm -hmm. Something is absolutely moving in there something large and you can see it moving um in this direction and then it sort of vanishes from sight two large somethings on the move Ooh, nice are they up some things or down something they went up they went up Ooh, yeah that sounds good that sounds good burn it all start over all right how long are you guys willing to wait for the webs to burn out I have an incredible idea. Kevin, mm -hmm. you have some alchemist flasks, right? I do. I have a beaver bag. <laughs> <laughs> you know what it's time for. I think we need to try it. I think uh, we shouldn't let chat down. And, it, and it, it looks like a beaver. It's just a hollowed out beaver. If Malter has, has, has abandoned us we in are our going to build moment of need. A beaver bomb. That is um, time to well, break. Yeah, while well, all this is happening, Kevin and I build a beaver bomb. Okay, how many flasks of Alchemist Fire are you sticking inside the hollowed out beaver? Um, I have three. I will. How many? How much? Yeah. Will, like two flasks. Vials of oil, two. don't we? Yeah. A, a flask yeah, of Alchemist oil. Fire lights it. It does one d four damage. 
fire damage, but it sticks to you until you use your action to extinguish it. So what happens if you eat it? What happens if you eat it? Oh my god. Uh, it's one probably bottle. not great. So just do one bottle of Alchemist Fire and then one bottle of, or two bottles of regular so, water, which I think we have. I think um, yeah. has. So yep. Joe, explosions, yeah, hello, you're very sweet. Aww. Um, um, explosions are damaging for three reasons. The pressure wave, the fire, and the <laughs> deflagration, or the, uh, the shrapnel. I imagine Alchemist this Fire... Be ignites upon exposure to air. It does not explode. So if it's contained in the beaver bag with get with oil and caltrops. There's no explosion still. Still no explosion. Still no explosion. It just ignites. Okay, okay. Fire. Okay, okay, okay. Well I was hoping to make a bomb, but you know. Well I mean if you stuff a bunch of spikes in a in a hollowed out beaver with some fire and then a spider eats it, that's not good for your health. Well, we're assuming the spider's actually going to eat it. Yeah. Wait, hello. Okay. Uh, um, another thought: Would there be any way we could command the shadow mastiffs to attack the spiders? Like, what? What would the shadow mastiffs understand? What's the language? If you're holding the coin, why couldn't we command them to do it? Because they might not be uh, familiar with that coin. They might. They might want to play fetch. They don't speak we can, we can or understand it. any languages. <laughs> Well, hold on. Couldn't I, couldn't I smack them with a whip and see if they want to be my friend? <laughs> yes, you could do that. <laughs> I like how every, for, from now on, what if we see a creature? Okay, Darius, hit him with the whip. See if they'll talk. <laughs> just, a, just a little tickle. Just a... Mmm, <laughs> harder. The oh, fire... No. The fire continues to spread. Are you building a beaver bomb or not? Yeah, we're building a beaver bomb. What What are the contents of the beaver bomb? Um, so at I, least one vial of alchemist fire. I recommend two vials of oil. If it is sealed and the oil and the alchemist fire burn, they will expand. Is the Is the beaver a sealed container? It would need a little bit of doctoring to do so. Do you have anything you could use? We have yellow paint. <laughs> Uh, a big paint bomb. Let's throw in there. Paintball. We play paintball for keeps. We have what? I also have red paint. <laughs> That's my blood. No, it's just paint. It's fine. Uh, so I imagine there's some string or twine that we could like close mm -hmm. the top with. Tighten yeah. it down and try to make it airtight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so it's just like. So yeah, if we do that, then can we put cow traps and make it into an explosive? You can certainly try. You know what? I've got I've got the cow traps. Why don't we give it a try? We're gonna we're gonna uh, put a bag of cow traps. We're gonna put a bag of cow traps in there. We're gonna put an alchemist fire. We're gonna put two oils. Um, who has the oil? That would be Robert, I mm -hmm. believe. Yep. I'll put I'll put I'll put one. So Robert, you do an oil. I'll do an oil. And I'll do one of my uh, alchemist fires. Perfect. So with our powers combined, we have made a beaver farm that is filled with a bag of cow traps, a two things of oil, and an alchemist fire. Okay, who wants the inspiration? There's two inspiration on the line. The whole party kind of contributed to this. Whoever throws it... I'm not throws it. Don't drag me down, okay? <laughs> All right, whoever throws it should get the inspiration, and I think, Crozan, you've got the best arm, so you should yeah. eat it. Um... I'll, uh, Crozan will eat it, but I'll defer the, the inspiration, because I've already got one. I think I have one, too, actually. I mean, they were my beaver bag, so I wouldn't mind taking the other one. But, yeah, do you it. Know, do it so do Robert, it. Robert and, uh, Darius gets the inspiration. I, I agree. Okay, I agree. so, how, t walk me through, you've, you've created this contraption. Who's doing the sealing? Who's sealing the beaver bomb? <laughs> Okay. Ludicrous cheeseburger just gives another inspiration for the beaver bomb. <laughs> oh my god. Who's, who's gonna um, who's gonna actually engineer the si the ceiling of the beaver bomb? That's gonna be between Umberto and Darius here. What do you there, what do you need? Is there mate? a like leather work or something like that that would help us make this into a sealed container? If you had a toolkit then spell as a can trip. Does it count as animal handling? Wait, what did you just do as a cantrip? I have mending. 
That's incredible! That absolutely would even airtight the container. Wait, what is this? Mending. Oh, yeah! Oh my god. Yes! Why? Why? Yes! Sorry. Okay, so you use, you, somebody inflates the beaver, and then mends it shut. After it, putting in a alchemist fire, two bottles of, or two bottles of oil, and caltrops. Okay, and then you give that to Crozan, and you give Crozan the the holy uh, symbol of the, the knife shield. and the shield, right? Uh, and then he walks in, and you have dark vision, right? I do. So, why don't you walk in and look, um, try to see the thing, and then then throw a perfect spiral right at the uh, at whatever these things are. So before that happens, I walk up, I lick the wall to see what happens. What does the room tell me? What, where are you licking the wall? Move yourself to the wall you wish to lick. Uh -oh. I'm just uh, I'm just saying new one. sentences constant, <laughs> constantly. Okay. Sorry, before the the bag, so she, what's the, the football leaves my uh, hands. Mm -hmm. I cast light on it. I can color the light however I'd like. I'm going to make it a very dark, opaque color so mm -hmm. that it looks like a moving animal. Yes. Like, so, no way. That extinguish you can only have one light cantrip infrared. active at a time. That's oh, I don't need it. Crozen can see fine. Yeah, so have it give off infrared, so heat. There you go. There you go. <laughs> that light now... no 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 the light spell gives off no heat. I can specifically say the light spell does not give <laughs> it is a heatless light. But in the That's not how physics work, man. argument, argument, sir. This is my fantasy, not yours. <laughs> this is hey no the DM is a player too. <laughs> All right, uh, I light a torch by the way, Joe. Oh boy, um, why? Thanks. All right, uh, so every day we stray further from God. <laughs> from the modder, yes. Beaver bomb bag is go and lit. Hey, my... can I? Can you make a little beaver bag for us, please? Could you just, I, can you just I, a beaver? I am <laughs> trying to find a beaver graphic for the f <laughs> beaver bomb. Give me two seconds. <laughs> you guys ever think, you, oh, this, do you think we were gonna make a beaver bomb? Like when you <laughs> Oh my god. This, this bag has now triple inspiration, by the way, guys. I think it's almost up to four, actually. Is it really? It had double before, and it got oh two more. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look, I. Got two more? Oh my god. So we each get yeah. inspiration for the beaver. Yeah, bags. the whole party gets inspiration off this. <laughs> oh, oh, get, oh, damn it. Okay, hold, hold on, guys. Hold on. I'm sorry. I. Even Falister gets inspiration, and he's just standing there. Actually, it should be slobber chops, really. Oh, right. slobbers! It, it could be slobber chops. It could be slobber chops. Oh my god. Um, I, but, using non-character knowledge, we should technically put some um some like filler in there, so that the uh, the cow drops are distributed properly and everything blows out right, but. Um, and the nice thing, too, is this won't have a lot of uh, concussive force. It'll mostly be the shrapnel and the fire. Uh, so this wouldn't knock down a building or anything. This is a No, pretty absolutely not. Absolutely down. not. Yeah. All right, look. We are six episodes away from an atomic bomb. <laughs> <laughs> and that's uh, a conservative estimate. Mate. Mm hmm Just to help with the distribution of the caltrops and whatever, how many days worth of rations would you like me to throw in there just to kind of have a lot of light little things I'd to kind of two days of ra I take three days cool. of rations, I think, because, you know, we're talking about you, jerky yeah. and stuff. I'll give you three days of rations to kind of help fill in the bag to where it's light material that isn't going to get in the way of the caltrop, but will help it's distribute wanting. them. Yeah, yeah it, it. it'll fill out the bag, so it looks like a fully realized beaver. And if you can make it dried meat, it'll smell properly, too. Exactly. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> is there like an animate like a who has prestidigitation to make this thing like move like an animal <laughs> i wish i had that i do not may there's no rats down here is there in this in this area oh my Shelter god full of rats? <laughs> this is a war crime we are very close to being a war crime <laughs>
<laughs> it's if if you're wondering why I've been silent for a few minutes, it's because I was preparing this oh masterpiece. <laughs> you have to save that forever. Whenever we use a bomb oh, of any no. kind, it's a bag. Oh my god. Where are we? What, what's happening? Uh, uh, okay. Crozen Kro approaches. Mm -hmm. where, I don't even know where I am. Crozen approaches. He licks the wall. Oh, and you have to have the beaver bomb with you. Yeah, there you I go. I have the beaver bomb. Just to get a just to get a good estimate about the room, the size, the smell, okay. the taste. Roll roll a perception check. Is he standing in fire right now, by the way? No, the fire spread a little bit. Okay. You look actually, yeah, you look straight as you're looking around, you notice a crack in the ceiling. You notice a gigantic freaking spider. Before you even finish that sentence, I yeen it. Roll straight. for initiative. Roll for initiative. <laughs> Roll for initiative. Oh, finally. Uh oh. Oh my god. I'm not saying this isn't going to work. I'm just saying roll for initiative. Well, I mean, even if we don't kill it, we should get a good hit on it, right? You know? Do we all roll? Or Everybody roll for initiative. Hit? Everybody roll for initiative. So I think the plan was to, like, throw it in there and just see if the spiders went for it. I think now the plan is going to be Crozen wrestles the spider, shoves the beaver bomb inside of its mouth, <laughs> closes it up, and just waits. I don't even get off of it. I just get <laughs> <off> back. <laughs> Uh okay, uh Robert, it's your turn first. Whoa, that's weird. Um, are the shadow dogs doing anything cool? Mm, is that where you're standing, Robert? That's where I started this whole madness, yeah. Cool. That's a very appropriate statement. <laughs> I, I, well, I would have wanted to be over here. Is that okay? Yeah, that's when fine. this thing started. Okay. Yeah, Robert, it's your turn. What would you like to do? Copy. Uh, since Crozan has the coin, I'm not going to go anywhere near those Shadow Mastiffs, so um, mm -hmm. I'll stay in here. Well, cool. You have hey. Sacred Flame, don't you? Can you see the thing? I cannot see the thing through the door, I assume. It's up high, it's open, man. It? Yeah, it's glowing. Remember, the you put a light spell on it, whatever you can see on the in the map, you can see. Actually, Joe, I have, vis I, I have visual on Crozan. I can see whatever Crozan can see. Can you turn that off for me? Uh, yeah, I can do that. Now, you can't actually see the spider because it is up inside a crack right. in the ceiling. Yeah. So. Wait, can you add me to the initiative count, please? Yep. Oh, did you not select him? Your... I did select him. I did select him, and it didn't uh, It didn't do that's, it. That's going to be a heavy doubt there, I dude. I wanted to start the initiative tracker, but no valid token was selected. But I did click myself, so I don't know what happened. What was your initiative score? Nine. Nine. All right, cool. Nine? Nine! Nine, nine. All right, uh, Robert, what would you like to do? You can see Crozan, but you cannot see the giant spider because, again, it's up in the ceiling. Yeah, I don't really have any bonus actions or quick things to do. So... Can you, like, bless him? Or... We have 30 him? minutes, by the way. Yeah, I know. Okay. Spread this sure, I'll cast so with everybody. Might as well do the this. couple cleric thing. All right, click the spell so we get the description. Boing. Boing. We've done a lot to do absolutely nothing. All right, so pick far. three. Pick three creatures. I don't think. Uh, I don't think uh, Beaver Bomb is nothing. But yeah, I get what you mean. That's uh, so we were introduced to the Chesta line. We got a lot of really crazy magic items. <laughs> we got some potions, did some other shopping, and we built a bomb out of old dead stuff. Pick uh, everyone else in the party. All right, Crozan. <laughs> Uh, now, you guys might have a bless icon. Let's see if that's on. Matt, can you turn that on if you don't, if you have access? Yes. It should be attacks and saving throws. Bless icon. You get 1d4. Um, basically, there's a conditional modifier section on your character sheet. If it's on. It is not on. Uh, Umberto, I'm about to turn it on on your character sheet. Please stand by. What? All right, so uh, on your character sheet, you will see, and I'm going to actually pull it. I'm going to try to pull this up so that chat can see what I'm talking about. Holy yeah. crap, dudes. I have speak with animals. I had no idea. Oh, oh you can talk with 
you could have talked with Slobberchops that entire time and just been like, what are those things? It would have been like, dog. If I mean, Slobberchops like... counts as a beast, Slobberchops might not be a beast. Mm, true. Mm. The rule of cool says, screw you. I, I agree. <laughs> I totally agree. All right, so now oh, you have a little bomb, man. You, you have a little bless icon you can turn on and off. Right now it's on, so your saves and your attacks get plus 1d4. Yay. I don't know if that's on for everybody, but the three of you have bless. Horrible damage. No, uh, hang on, Crozan. I'm, I'm getting into your, your stuff. I can fix Crozan okay. real quick. Yeah, you go can, ahead and fix oh, Crozan's. No, no, I, I can't get into him. It got right. turned off. All right, I'm going to fix Crozan's. One sec. Do, do, do. Beep, Please stand beep, by while we bless beep. ourselves. All right, so now under a lot of your things, you'll see like oh, modifiers. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you can turn them on and off. You can add new ones. So anytime that you have, because you already have your rage modifier, right? So turn yeah. on bless and under saves, turn on bless and you're good to go. And any other modifiers that come up in the game, you can tweak with those. Uh, do you want to move it all, Robert, or are you good? I'm going to stay here. Copy that. Mate, does the beaver still look appetizing? Uh, it's the giant spider's turn. <laughs> Its mouth is sewn shut. It's bloated and puffy, with little spikes of of uh, cow chops almost poking through the skin all over it. Yeah, it doesn't look great. It's a dire something, beaver. Okay, it's something the, straight out of Invader Zim. That's exactly what I have. That's literally exactly what I have in my mind right now. <laughs> Crozan, it the spider attacks you. Does an eleven hit you? It does not. Okay, well the other spider also crawls out of the ceiling. And it crawls around on the wall to here, and it's going to bite you. They're not smart enough to flank. You know, I'm going to actually give like that second spider. Messed up. Uh, let me take a look. I'm going to give that set first spider advantage because they have the high ground. All right, I think my armor class should be 16. It's showing 13 right what now. What should it be 16 from? It should be 17, I think. Because it's Which... supposed to be your dex plus your con. What's your dex and your con? Well, now I lost everything. Uh, Dex is plus two. Constitution is plus four. So it should be 16 at least. All right, I'm going back to the, the wheel of destiny, and I'm going to make some... Don't, don't click that. Don't click that. I'm in your character sheet killing your dudes. So it should be at least a 16, because if you're a barbarian, you get both of those. And then I have a shield. Does that help? So that, then yes, you should have an 18 then for your armor class. Nice. Where's the armor class modifiers on this gear thing? It's weird. I don't see it. Normally I'd see like the area where you can modify the armor class and, and uh, uh, let me take a look. Where is anything that has to do with AC? I don't know exactly. Here, I'm gonna go under the hood and give you access. Alright, um, anyways, I'm just gonna roll these attack rolls and keep messing while uh I'm giving Matt access so he can mess with this. And I'm giving that first spider advantage on the attack because it has the high ground. Okay, that's fair. So, so a second attack, but I take the first damage. Okay, no, I'm going to take that one because it's a crit. All right, so you are going to give me two. Ouch, ouch. A lot. Interesting. This kind of got messed up. Give me two constitution saving throws. So I get advantage on one, right? Why? Less? No, you don't get advantage. You get plus 1d4. Oh. And you're a dwarf. You should get advantage on saves against poison. Yes or no? And I think he's resistant as well. It's, it's yeah. at least advantage versus them. It might even be resistance. Mm -hmm. But it's at least advantage. So give me two separate constitution saving throws with advantage on both and with your bless modifier on both. And the DC is 11. So, you know. Okay, yeah. So you're good on that one and you're good at that one, you're going to take half of the poison damage. So from the first bite, which ended up being a crit, you're going to take 14 piercing and nine poison. And you're a dwarf, so you take four poison. Let me know when you've done that. Done. And the second guy hit you for seven piercing. Roll a constitution saving. Oh, you passed that. So two, seven piercing, two poison. Done. Cool. All right. That's it for the spiders. And now it's time for the Edder Cap that was hidden. Oh, jeez. I'm sorry, the what? The Edder Cap that was hidden. Come again for Big Butch? Yeah, uh, it also climbs out of the hole in the ceiling, the crack in the ceiling. And it's gross, dude. It's, it's not very... Spider. 
It's like a walking spider dude with these gigantic bloated uh, venom sacks. And it's gonna, it's gonna move. And uh, can it climb on ceilings? I think it can. Yeah, it can. Uh, it's also climbing on the ceiling. On the other side, it is flanking you. And it is going to attack you with its bite, and it's going to have advantage because it has the high ground. So I'm going to go ahead and make this thing attack you. Unfortunately, it sucks. And oh, no, it gets two attacks, a bite and a claw. So the bite missed and the claw also misses. Any luck fixing the AC, Matt? I'm just doing it manu manually. Copy that. All right, Darius, it is your turn, followed by Crozan, followed by Fauster Fisk, followed by Umbarto. I'm going to see if I can find it later just so it works properly. Mm -hmm. I have it set here to where it's at least working the way it, it should. Totally fine. Also, the spider has disadvantage to resist the allure of the beaver bomb. Darius, what would you like to do? Okay, well, um, our plan was beaver bomb, but now our buddy just got completely rolled with all these spider things. Also, wait a minute. Uh, mate, do I have line of sight to what just happened to Crozen? He's being attacked by things on the ceiling. They're above the door. You can't actually see any of them. You just see like spiders poking down at him. Didn't you say there was like a other like a walkie thing? Better cap. Yeah, it's also climbing on the ceiling. All right. Uh, Jesus. And that's in the same square as the fire and the bomb. Is that right? The better cap. Uh, the, the bomb is actually in his hand and it is above him. The fire, you guys took a few minutes to do this. So the fire is actually uh, spread and it doesn't stay in a square after it's burned out. That makes did, sense. Did that, yeah. There we go. Did that, did that get to the bad guys at all? Are they injured at all by the fire that was spreading? No, they climbed into a hole that had no webbing in it. Ah, OK. But there's, is there any more webbing in there? No, the webbing is all gone. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. Yeah, That's you helpful. guys cleared the environment effect. All right. Um, 5, 10, 15. All right. I'm going to sneak up because I still don't trust these dogs. Mm hmm So. Uh, and a Wowie. 5, and a 10, and a 15. Mm hmm Can I see anything now with my new angle? Nope. You have to get all the way through the door before you can actually see up into the ceiling because there's yeah, there's like a the doorway and then they're above, you know, the, the room they're, in the next. They're huge, though, right? No. Well, two of them are large, but they're cleaning the ceiling and they're just attacking him. Like the ceiling goes way up in that room. You have to go okay. through the door or be like if you go one step forward, then you'll be able to shoot underneath, but they'll have cover. OK, well, that's my action as my mm -hmm. bonus action wait so real, real quick uh as i approach i'm gonna whisper over to crows in hey are you dumping that bag and running okay Crozen, like nods enthusiastically all right then i'm going to dash while i'm still stealth and i'm going to move up five i'm assuming can i go if i go here am i still going to be within range of these guys if i move back since they're high up they, if you leave a, a threatened square, they will be able to take an attack of opportunity against you, but you currently have a great stealth roll. So how about this? Let me, mm -hmm. let me ask you this. If mm -hmm. I like get here, but then lean, don't, don't go in that square, but then lean in and shin throw or throw something. I'll be fine. Right. I'm giving them cover, but yes. Even if I like poke in and like do a poop. Yes. Because you can't poke okay. all the way in. All right. Then I'm going to, uh, move up to here. I'm behind the door, and you said that there's a doorway in the way, so I can't see this guy in front of me. So if I move away, he shouldn't be able to get to me because I can't even right. see him. If you do a leaning attack cool. from this square, no attack of opportunity. You will break cool. stealth by attacking. Great. Okay, well, with my stealth, I'm going to take my lover's lash, and I'm going to whip it, whip it good into, <laughs> into this sucker clinging to the, to the, to the, to the ceiling. Okay, roll a whip attack with advantage and sneak attack and bless. Yes. Oh, All right. list. Lovers lash. In fair oh, Verona. Yeah. Okay, so you deal 19 points of damage. Oh my god. Mm, harder. <laughs> <laughs> and you hit it with a slap. So it has to make a con saving throw or like me. It has to make a constitution <laughs> saving throw. Can we make this a direct to the nipple attack? <laughs> 
It likes me. It really likes me. <laughs> Ow, that kind of hurt. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, you broke stealth. What would you like to do? Um, I'm gonna just, like yell up at that Etten cap. Um, in... God, I don't think it speaks infernal. I'm gonna say, Hey, you should eat that beaver. <laughs> and then I'm gonna back up and hide behind these, uh... <laughs> behind these columns do you have a, a, a bonus action remaining okay i do not all right i'm just like i'm just putting myself between the columns you're taking cover okay that's like, fine yeah. that's completely fine crozan it's your turn uh so every everyone's above me correct correct yeah so i'm gonna just heat it straight up okay and then run <laughs> roll an athletics check at advantage because mm-hmm Okay, oh. 14. The giant spider catches the beaver palm in its mandibles and its front legs. Ha <laughs> ha, you fool, it's mine now. It would say if it had anything resembling a brain. <laughs> when you I'm move, gonna run back out. You're going to proc attacks of opportunity from all three of those creatures. That's acceptable. Rage, okay. rage, 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 rage. Should I rage? Oh. Yeah, I'll, I'll rage, I'll rage. Okay, you rage, you're going to have boner. resistance against everything except psychic damage. Yep. All right, spider bitey time. I'm going to give the Edder Cap the first attack uh, because it isn't charmed by you. So it can still attack you and has advantage because it has the high ground. So here's the bite. 20 to hit. Uh, you take two points of piercing damage. You take one point of poison damage and you must roll a constitution saving throw with advantage and bless. Yay! Nope. nope. All right. Yeah, you just take the damage, and you do not have the poisoned condition. Good job. Uh, it gets a claw attack, also with advantage. Does the Wait, seventeen hit? Reaction? Eighteen. Misses. You're right. No, it can't multi-attack. You are right. You are right. But it still misses. So fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The giant spiders are both oh. going to get free bite attacks with advantage because they have the high ground. All right, so we have a hit and a miss. So take five points of piercing damage and roll a constitution saving throw. He's really yeah, that's a lot of damage. Face. That's a real lot of damage. You made your save, you take two points of, pierce, of poison damage. That's why I would say you probably should rage because that's a lot of damage. Ooh. See, I thought you were just going to throw it in and leave. I didn't know you were going to get bit by a bunch of spiders. I mean, neither did I. Mm -hmm. Here we are at 50%, so... Jesus. It's Falister's turn, and he's just vibing. Uh, Umparto, it's your turn. What would Maybe you like I to do? I can resist the beaver bomb. It hasn't been the spider's can... turn yet. I, I can see nothing in the next room, correct? Yeah, you uh... should... Yeah, you can't see Jack. You, all you know is that he walked in there and there was like chittering and ow, 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 ow. And then you saw him running out with like half of his blood missing. Um, yeah, I guess I'll almost heal. exactly half. I'll use two of my healing line on him. Okay. Ooh, thank you. Roll it, roll it, roll it. I don't get any plus on that, right? It's just the straight dice. Flat nine health. Your better Ooh. heal is going to be your spell slot heals. Yeah, yeah, but this, I, I don't want to burn that unless people mm -hmm. are, like, dying. That's fair. Yeah. Alright, do you want Rhea to do anything? Uh, Rhea will tack over... How far can she move? 30 feet. Uh, um, she will stand uh, in this corner right here for now and mm -hmm. ready in action to smack the first spider that comes around that corner or the dogs if they attack. All right. So she's holding her great sword at the ready. Good call. All right. Both of the dogs immediately jump and attack Darius. Yep. That's, that's exactly what I was expecting. Why fight them one at a time when we could fight them all at once? <laughs> <laughs> they cannot flank him from this position, so they're just going to make their bite attacks. And shouldn't I have cover because I'm behind a, a, a uh, thing? Yeah, you have cover. And attack Yay. first. 
Please don't eat me. Does it? Oh, hold on. I should probably roll these publicly. That would be nice. Instead of secret rolls. Okay, well, no, that's a miss. Let me make dice. sure that everything's updating for our chat. And the second one bites you. Yeah, that, that works. I okay. use a reaction to take half damage. All right, you take three points of damage, and you have to roll a strength saving throw. Oh, good. Strength the saving throw, you say. These are the dogs from the turn. Oh, natural 20. Nice. In uh, nice. Modern Warfare. And they use their bonus action to turn invisible. Wait, they're covered in nice. paint. Yeah, so you still see where they are. Yeah. It's just, it's their, it's their shtick. It's their thing. It's their shtick, man. Robert, it's your turn. There are dogs. Just hey, guys, there the dogs. dogs stop. <laughs> <laughs> like um, we said at the very beginning. Let's kill the dogs first. Well, I guess that didn't happen. So, oh. I think you have a hammer for this. I do. I'm just trying to figure out whether to heal. No, nah, Crozen can take more hits. Yeah. So I can be black fine. Black. What? All right. You have flanking on this, so make your attack with advantage. Yes. Um, you do not have bless, and these are not fiends or undead. They are monstrosities. Sure. Smacking stick, so. Oh yeah, no. It, as a smacking yeah! stick, it's just fine. Nice. Okay. Uh, Dude. So seven points of damage. Dunk. All right. Well done. Uh, it is giant spider time. Gonna eat a beaver. Pizza. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, you could have phrasing. <laughs> phrasing. <laughs> What did we say? Anyways, uh, it has two disadvantages to resist the sweet, sweet, delicious treat that is the beaver bomb. So I'm going to roll an intelligence saving throw with disadvantage. What a tasty treat for a spider to eat. <laughs> it grabs Who this knew? thing. It kind of tastes like food. And it's like, no, 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 no. And the mandibles crunch down on it. And then spikes and fire go flying in every direction. Uh, how much? It was one alchemist fire, two vials of oil, and, and caltrops. One, one, cal and one whole bag of caltrops, which is enough to fill a five foot square. Okay. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, Crozan, roll 2d4 plus six. What's the splash rate is on a beaver bomb look like? <laughs> okay, and uh, it's vulnerable to it because it just ate it. So it takes 20 points of damage. Yay. Uh, the... Everything's on fire right there. <laughs> yeah, it's, it spews fire everywhere and it doesn't have its um, bite attack anymore. <laughs> the is just gone. Just oh my god. Yeah. All right. It it shrieks and climbs back into the ceiling. Did it damage anything else near it, or did it just explode on itself? It just exploded on itself and downward. Okay, cool. But this stuff does spread, though, right? Yeah. There's like a puddle of fire on the floor underneath. Uh, and its and mouth is on fire. Yes. Its mouth is still on fire. Um, <laughs> the other giant spider, you can't really tell what it's doing. It's just going to sort of lurk. And uh, all right, the editor cap is also going to lurk. They're going to make so when you want to find them, uh, they're going to use stealth checks. You know, so you, you'll have to use perception to spot them because they're moving around and stuff. Uh, all right. Uh, cool. Glorious beaver ball. Darius, it's your turn. Guys, that was amazing. I don't know if it was worth almost killing Crow's Eye for. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if the trade off for 40 something points of hit points was, was worth it. Do it for the meme! Do it, Do for, it the for the meme! meme. Okay, um, I'm surrounded by a bunch of shadowy. Wait, don't we have two more bags? <laughs> we do have two more bags. But I want to keep at least one for myself. I don't want to use all our beaver bombs as bags. We should just um, always roll for uh, more. Right, we'll find him again. We'll, we'll, yeah. find, we'll find Touch Chester again. You can summon him now if you want it. So. That's true. <laughs> right now. Chuck, pop me two more bags. Let's do this. I need them. 
Hey, I need my six. You got more bags for me? Hey, he, I bought you buy some beavers. Can you make me a bag? He has to make those things in real time. You bought up his whole supply. You got to give him some time to re to catch some more beavers. Oh, I bought the beavers, man. Just give me the bag. <laughs> um, okay, so. Yeah, this is not great. Okay. Um, Debbie's damn. Darius needs some friends. You have um, flanking right now on one of them. That's true. Um, okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and try and just use the lover's lash to, to hit this, uh, this dude right here. Okay. Uh, to get him to stop hitting me. <laughs> so, so. Oh, oh, crap. Take it. Dude. Is that 40 <laughs> points of 37, but close enough. Why is it 37? Oh, no, you're right. It's 40. You're right. It's 40 points of damage from the lover's lash. Dude, this thing was the best thing we ever found. Holy crap. Ooh, How can you love you after that? Jeez. Well, at least he died happy. <laughs> what is going on? What is happening? Oh my gosh! Anything you else? Guys, I thought that, I thought the salt and blade was the coolest thing I ever found, and I was wrong. You haven't even used it yet. I want to so bad, but the lover's uh, lash. It would have I done not? even more damage. It would have done even more damage on a crit. It would have, oh, but oh it's so much God. funnier though. Okay, and it, um, it dies out of pure ecstasy. Uh, okay, and then uh, I'm oh, going to use yeah. my my bonus action to 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 get the hell out of here. Um, okay, do it again. Yeah, you know what I mean, mate. I'm, I'm, I'm disengaged. Disengaged. Yeah, thank you. I'm leaving safely. <laughs> and oop, sorry. 15, 20, 25. Oh, yeah, that should be okay. I'm going to go into the darkness. <laughs> okay. And, uh, that's me, baby. Crozan, it's your turn. Uh, I'm going to rule that with the paint, you know where it is. But um, anyways, yeah. What do you want to do? I'm going to uh, approach it and attempt to grapple it. Okay. There's fire in the next room, right? Yeah, there's fire in the next room. It has to get into the fighter. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Could you make that fire a light source, please? I'm a little yeah. blind. I can do that. That would be lovely. Thank you. Did he say Bye. light blinded? Blinded, blinded, blinded by the light. Blind. One moment, please. Oh, sorry. Am I able to roll that once more and use one of my extra inspirations? Yes, I'm going to allow that. If it'll ever do it. There it is. Oh, nice. No, that was oh. one. Oof. That's a yikes. That was not a <laughs> Everyone, Everyone's taking all those 20s today. <laughs> Dude, could you imagine if it was plus 48 instead of 2d4? That would have been something. Hey, your first oh. roll that you rolled was an acrobatics roll, and it should have been an athletics roll. Not that it mattered. I got a seven. Um, oh, yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. But the thing is, you were the I, yeet roll, it's... It just has to beat your 14. It has to beat your 14. If it can beat your 14, then it escapes uh, being yeeted, uh, which it, it does. does. It oh. does. Yeah. So you fail to yeet. No. That is a rare thing. That mm -hmm. is a very Frozen rare thing. almost never fails to yeet. After, yeet after the, the stunning display of love being given the, the previous round, it's just I feel inadequate as a masculine individual. <laughs> All right. Uh, hey, wait, question. So we have, a, we have a, a guy wearing a mask, whipping people, going, ah! and then we have a sweaty, veiny dwarf. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. But whoa. I fucking hate it here, and I want to quit. <laughs> Mate, question. Yes. Would Would I be able to use one of my inspiration to give the mask disadvantage against getting? Unmuted by Crazy. I will. I will let you use your inspiration to force me to make one more roll. I will allow yes. that. 
Oh my god. All right. This uh, Crozan's had a hard time. I, I want him to be successful in his venture. Yay! Congratulations, Crozan. The yeeting will continue until morale improves. Um all right, now you should you should turn on your rage damage modifier for this, so that should actually be 12 points of yeeting damage, and you hurl it directly into the fire. Yay! I wonder and Cal and Caltrops, thank and you. And Caltrops. Flaming Caltrops. <laughs> That damage stack? I feel like Yes! Bad. Yes, it stacks! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, it is now. Also, you know oil? Oil fire does a flat five damage also. <laughs> no, I, I don't think it does, does it? Oil if you if oil has been lit on fire, it does a flat five fire damage. It's one of the most OP things in the whole game. Wow. Uh, flat five, but does that stack with I feel like the Alchemist fire would like overpower that. The Alchemist fire does less damage because it the does thing. 1D4. Yeah, because oh, it, it's Alchemist sticky. Fire clings, Alchemist fire clings to you. Oil just it's a like, oils. Yeah, with oil you create an environmental hazard. You can't like you can douse somebody and light them on fire. They're not going to take five points of damage every round. But an oil flaming puddle does five points of damage. So that's what that's Correct. the trade off. Okay. Wow. Uh, Falister pops his head out. I was kind of hoping he might be uh you know. Actually, you know what? No, he's going to use his bonus action to hide. He succeeds. He makes his uh, hand crossbow attack with advantage. He hits. He sneak attacks for another 2d6 points of damage. Hey, good job, buddy. He does 16 points of damage. Way to show up. Pops back Dude. into the shadows. Good job, Falister. Umbarto, it's your hand. turn. All right, I'm going to step out here. And can I see the Shadow Mastiff? Yes, it's laying in a puddle of fire. I'm going to do my thing. Got a right. blasty blast. I have to the, pick the right one. Roll to behold to Eldritch it. Blast. Blast City Blast. Uh, is that the right one? Sweet yeah, ass. That's right. Yep, that's a hit. You deal five points of force damage, and the Shadow Yay! Mastiff dies. You make two shots. Okay, good. Never mind. Yep, yep, you're fine. You would have got oh, two shots. Yeah, can I see anything else? Doesn't look like it. I moved 15 feet, so I've got another, what? 15 feet 15 left. Mm -hmm. I'm going to move up closer. Can I see anything now? Roll a perception check. I'm not very perceptive. Hey. We all could have told you that. Hey, but I wouldn't have noticed because I'm not perceptive, so. That's true. You know, I know you mentioned it earlier, Kevin, but I think this is the first time I've ever played this game where you didn't spend half the episode talking about how you're the chosen one. And it, it was a welcomed improvement, by the way. Hey, Thank by you. the way, go fuck yourself, and I'm the chosen one. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, so that takes us to the top of the round. You've got a puddle of so, oil. Then, um... Rhea is going to move up. All right. Uh, she's going to move here and uh, re-ready her action to smack anything that comes out of that door. All right. So here's what we're going to do. That's top of the round. There's two giant spiders and an adder cap that's uh, been hit with the lover's lash in that other room. Uh, it's sort of a standoff between you got between everybody right now. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to call it here. I'm going to hand out XP, and on our next adventure, you guys can go through the flaming Calchop-filled door. Sound good? Oh, fun. Great. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Uh -huh. yeah. All right. Uh, thank you, everyone, for watching. This has been a weird one, and we hope to see you again next time, whenever that is. Have a good one. Oh, my God. Happy beaver to you. <laughs>